Hi, I'm Shreya and this is Decoding Code. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to read a specific line of a text file. This video will be using Buffered Reader and we will be reading files. So if you want a quick review on reading and writing files, I did do that in my previous video. If you want to go and watch that, uh, feel free to do so. But let's get right into it. So what I want to do is I want the user to be able to put in the line that they need and my example is a kind of weather file and it's basically just temperatures in different areas uh, and my code, I want them to put in the line that they need and then I'll print out the data in that line and then I'll convert that from Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, and print that out as well. And this program basically needs to read a specific line and then do something with the data in that line. So that's what we'll be going over today. So my first step is to ask the user for a number and I have a class that I created called integer utils and I can just use this get integer from user and basically what's that, what that's doing is just getting an integer from the user um, and making sure that it is in fact an actual number, uh, integer, and that's valid. So now I have this number from the user. And I'm also using buffered reader, so I'm going to create an object of that um, and put new file reader. And then I have the path to that example file. So if we go to finder, one second. So oh, I have this example here, and then it's just a bunch of temperatures, and it is really hot because it's the summer right now. So wear sunscreen, people. So I have these eight temperatures, and the user is going to put in the line number and then I'll print out one of these temperatures and then tell them the Celsius uh, equivalent of that temperature. And so how we do that is I'm having this string called ln or line and I have this integer line index and that's going to be one in the beginning. For now we can ignore this boolean found because that will come into play later. Um, so I have this while loop and I want this to run through uh, for every line in this file and as long as it's not null. Now br.readLine will return null only if it has reached the end of that file. It has no more lines to read. So that's when it will return null and I want to keep on um, going through the while loop uh, while this string ln which I'm setting to br.readLine is not null. So it's going to run through as long as there is a line to read. And then basically, if line index is L, is L, so line index is going to be increasing every single time. So if the line index is the one that you put in, then I'm going to basically print out that number and then convert it to Celsius and print that out. And then I'm going to break. But if it's not, then it'll just ignore this entire thing and then add one and then go through again. And this will only happen as long as there are lines left to go through. So that means that the line index will only go up to, say, nine. Um, and if your number is more than nine, then it will never go through this if loop. This Boolean found equals false at the beginning. and if it stays false, if it never goes through this and it's never true, then you never find that uh, line and you never convert it to Celsius. And that's why I'm going to print out, sorry, I didn't find your line number, because the chances are that that line number is actually greater than the amount of lines in this file, so it doesn't exist. The line is reading that line from the file, which is actually a string, so I'm converting it to an integer so that I can do this, these calculations with it and basically it's going to be a double and then the Celsius is the Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees and then times 5 divided by 9 which is 0.555555 and then ongoing so I just said 0.5556 uh, and then I just say the temperature in Celsius is this and then bye bye and then found is true so I just print out the temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius and not this one because it, this is only printed if found is not true. After I find that line that I needed and I print all of this out, then I break this while loop so it doesn't go through again at all and because I already found that line. If the number that you put in wasn't found 
uh, then it wasn't part of those lines in the file and the index just doesn't exist. So then it'll say, sorry, I didn't find your line number. The concept here basically is that it'll just keep running through, um, but not doing anything until it finds your line. Then it will do something and it will take that and print it out and then do something with the temperature in that line or the data in that line. Um, and this is one of the ways that you can specifically read one line of a text file, but I do believe that there is one more way that you can do this in Java. However, this is the one that I am showing you guys. Let's stick me over here. So if I input like 67, there are only nine lines, so this wouldn't happen. But if I run it again, uh, and I say 5, then the temperature, it'll give me in Fahrenheit, Celsius, and then I'll just say bye. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this every single week. Um, and it would be great if you were to visit my channel. And I have a video available every single week on Monday, so you can go check that out. And I will see you guys again when I see you again. Bye.